you know, parents need lots of tools for their parenting toolbox, especially when it comes to punishment and discipline training, because different kids respond to different things. So for example, the best tool for discipline is catch them doing something right. Catch them doing it right. Praise that, comment on that. Wow, I noticed you just did so-and-so. That was wonderful, how'd you do that? This far and away shapes behavior better than any sort of punishment does because kids desperately want to please their parents. And when you come in on how they just pleased you, and you're not just commenting on the performance, you want to come in on the character. Another tool for your toolbox is talk less and act more. Let me tell you something, we talked way too much as parents because we try to argue our kids, talk them into right behavior. When you set a rule, when you say no, and here's why, you can explain that. But then after that, quit talking, just do something. We shoot ourselves in the foot way too much. The threatening, repeating, I'm gonna count to five. We just train them to ignore us till we get to five. Do something. Another great tool for your toolbox is when you can, just do nothing. Let life be the teacher. We call these natural consequences. Just let life do the teaching. If you forget to make or take your lunch to school, I'll rescue you once, but after that, you're out of luck. You're gonna be hungry for the day. That lets life be the teacher. It's amazing when we get out of the way that life teaches really good lessons. Now, let's tie all these tools together. I want you to be like the highway department, okay? The highway department is not in control of your driving, but they are in charge of your driving. That's my job as a parent, to be in charge of my child's driving, to teach them, to train them where the white line is and what it means, what the yellow line is and what it means. And by the way, if you cross the yellow line, you get a ticket. And the police officer doesn't have to berate you. They don't have to make you feel bad. Suffering is not required for training to be taking place. They just write you a ticket. In fact, do that for your kids with a smile. I'm sorry, you can't go tonight, and here's why. With a smile. You don't have to beat them over the head with things. You're just helping them see the consequence of their choices. Driving, sometimes you have one lane, sometimes you have five lanes. This is called giving kids choices. As they grow older, we give them more and more lanes. And they get to choose what lanes they want to be a part of. If you break the rules, your choices get smaller. But as long as you make good choices, you get more and more options that are available. This is how we teach and train our kids over time. We don't have to control them. We just need to teach them how to drive understand the rules of life, and then one day they drive off and we've done our job.